There's a lot of appeal to solo, solo paddling. Um, part of it's just the serenity of being out there by yourself and this quiet lake. I think I went to sleep almost every night to the sound of loons out on the lake. You know? um, my name's John McLaughlin. Most people know me as Shaggy. And I'm um, just accomplished paddling across the Adirondacks, uh, stand up canoeing solo, about 150 miles from Old Forge to Plattsburgh, New York. And I'm just trying to gain awareness of stand-up canoeing and its potential, great potential to get out um, and have a great time, good workout, and go out for days canoe camping. I'm going to paddle up around that. Not to say the, the paddle boarding it doesn't have its place, and I think it's it's great. But um, to be able to pack your boat full of gear and go out in the wilderness or out on a trip for for days or, or weeks, as uh, I did, um, has great potential. Where you really can't do that as efficiently or as effectively on a paddle board. Yeah, you can strap your uh, uh, you know, waterproof gear bag on top of the paddleboard, but um, it's not the same. You have a better, better view, uh, better line of sight, uh, especially if you're doing any white water, any rapids. You can see further down the river. You can see down into the water a little bit deeper because of the aspect. If you're standing higher, you can see down into the water, you can see the rocks that you may not necessarily see if you're sitting down. Um, you also get a lot more leverage, I feel like, um, on your stroke. Um, I'm basically doing the same paddle strokes I would do if I was just regular solo canoeing. Part of this sport is great because it's uh, such a great full body workout for all the way from like the muscles in your feet for balance to your core and your, your shoulders and uh, your arms. Definitely a lot of uh, inward reflection um, out there. Um, a lot of times I, I spend enough time outside that uh, a large part of it is just out there observing, just being out there watching the birds and, and uh, kind of being, absorbing it all and being part of it.